Okay, if you're taking any sort of algebra course, you're definitely going to have to know how to work with square roots and radicals. And here's a nice, interesting little problem. And what we have here is we want to find the square root of m to the 8p plus 1 power. So how do we do this? Well, you're going to have to know a bit of a little trick uh, or technique in order to make this uh, simple on you. But if you think you can do this, go ahead and pause the video and put your answer into the comment section. I'm actually going to show you the answer here in just one second if you want to check your work. But of course, I'm going to walk you through step by step to show you the techniques in order to be able to handle a problem like this. And again, if you're taking any sort of algebra course, algebra one, algebra two, college algebra, it doesn't make a difference. You're absolutely going to need to be able to handle a problem like this. But uh, before we get going, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, and I'm telling you right now, all students can be successful in math. So you might be thinking to yourself, well, I'm failing. I'm not good at math. That is not true, okay? Believe me, uh, do not listen to yourself if you think that you can't do math, because you can do math, but what you need is great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive, and that's where I can help you out. So if you're at the middle school, high school, or college level, check out my math help program. You can find a link to it in the description of this video. Also, if you are preparing for a test with a math section on it, a dedicated math section, now most of you actually are going to be taking an exam like this. You may not realize it, but if you're going to be going to college or some sort of secondary school, you will be taking uh, quite a few different type of placement tests or entrance tests, and all these different tests are very, very important to your future. So I have a ton of test prep courses that can help you out. If you homeschool, I have award-winning middle and high school mathematics courses for homeschoolers. Definitely check this out. If you have a pair of gra uh, great uh, math notes, and hopefully you do, okay, if you do not, well, you need to improve your note-taking immediately because this is uh, really a key to your success in math. But I have notes, uh, links to my notes in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe. And uh, let's get into this problem here because this is really interesting. And if you don't know this little technique, this little trick, this uh, is going to be more challenging for most students. Okay, so you're going to want to pay attention to this video. But um, let me go ahead and show you the answer okay and what we're going to do here just to kind of clarify this problem is that we're going to assume that all variables are positive so we have m to the 8p plus 1 so we're just going to assume that uh, p here is going to be a positive value but uh, with that assumption made here is the answer m to the 4p times the square root of m this is the answer so how many of you got this right okay i'm probably thinking that not too, well, I don't want to say not too many of you. If you did get this right, that's actually very good. I must go ahead and give you a nice little happy face. I'll give you an A plus and a 125% and a few stars to make you feel extra special because that's pretty good, okay? That's actually very good that you're able to get this correct. Now, if you got something kind of close to this, well, close is not 100%, right? You want to get this 100% correct. So what's holding you back in order uh, to simplify from uh, this to this? Well, let me show you how to do this problem. And uh, as we do this, we're going to actually review uh, so just some basic things about square roots. So instead of m to the 8p plus 1, let's just make sure you can take this uh, square root of m to the 8th. Okay, so how do we do a problem like this? Well, what you want to do is you want to um, convert your square root, okay, uh, to the one-half power. So we're working with something called rational exponents. And if you didn't know that the square root of something is the same as taking something to the one-half power, well, this is critical, uh, critical, okay? And hopefully you've learned this somewhere along the line in your algebra course. If you haven't learned it, you will be learning it. So instead of the square root of m to the eighth, we can write m to the eighth to the one-half power. So what we're going to do here is we're going to distribute this one-half, and i.e. multiply it, one-half times eight is four. So the square root of m to the eighth is m to, to the fourth power, okay? And that makes sense because, remember, the square root of something is something times something else, or something times itself gets us back to this answer. So if we're try, uh, trying to find the square root of m to the eighth, and we're saying it's m to the fourth, that's m to the fourth times m to the fourth. What do we do here when we're multiplying powers with the same base? We add the exponent, so that's m to the eighth, okay? Now, 
this is just a quick review. Also on this, you need to understand this property, and that is a to the m to the n is equal to a to the m to the n. In other words, when we're taking a uh, power to another power, that these exponents you, you simply just multiply, okay? This n times m, so this is another property. So to do these square root problems, these radical problems, you need to be really good with the properties of powers and exponents, okay? So typically this is taught after you learned uh, that particular uh, skills and chapters. So like, for example, in my algebra course, uh, we do this before we get into this, as be, you know, obviously, because you need to understand powers and exponents in order to be able to handle radical and square root problems. All right, so let's go ahead and take it to the next level here. So well, how about the square root of m to the 8p, okay? Well, it's the same thing. So what we're going to do is we're going to express this instead of a square root. We're going to take this and convert this to a rational exponent. We're going to think of this uh, problem as m to the 8p to the 1 half power. And then what we're going to do is simply multiply 1 half times this 8p, and that gets us 4p. 1 half times 8 is 4, so that's what that is equal to, okay? All right, so we're getting closer to the actual problem. So let's take a look at it, okay? I'll show you this little trick here in a second, so let's just keep our focus right here. So we have m to the 8p plus 1. So we're going to go ahead and write this as m to the 8p plus 1 to the 1 half. So what we're going to do is distribute this power here, okay, 1 half to 8p, so that's 4p, and then 1 half to... Uh, 1 is 1 half. So we have m to the 4p plus 1 half. So right here, this is still kind of confusing for a lot of students. You might be kind of like, hmm, you know, thinking to yourself, like, I'm not quite sure what I did. I know I'm kind of following what this math teacher is telling me to do, but I'm not sure how to clean this up. Well, I'm going to show you this little trick, as I promised, uh, that you're going to want to remember when you're facing these kind of problems. So here is the little trick, okay? So again, we have to go back and revisit uh, properties of uh, powers and exponents. And this is the one that you want to remember. When you're multiplying, when you're multiplying powers that have the same base, i.e. 2 to the third power times 2 to the fifth power, what's the rule? Well, if they have the same base, i.e. This, this bottom number, you just simply add the exponents. So in this case, this would be 2 to the 3 plus 5, or 2 to the 8th, okay? This is uh, the property you want to keep in mind. But what we're going to do is do this thing in reverse. So notice this is a base, and then we have a sum up here, something plus something else, m times uh, m plus n. Well, what do we have right here? We have the same kind of situation right here. So we're going to uh, rewrite m to the 8th p plus 1 this way. We're going to go m to the 8p times m to the 1. Now, if this was the problem right here, if this was a multiplication power, okay, and this is multiplication, we would say, oh, this has the same base, so I would simply add the exponent. So that would be 8p plus 1. Okay, so m uh, to the 8p plus 1 is the answer if this was the question. m to the AP times M to the first. So what does that mean? Well, instead of doing this problem right here, M to the AP plus one, okay, which we currently have, we're going to exchange this, exchange this out for this. Okay, it's going to make our life a lot easier. So let's go ahead and do that now. Okay. All right. So again, we use that um, uh, property. Uh, that uh, particular property is called the product property. So instead of writing this problem this way, the square root of m to the 8p plus 1, we're going to write this as the square root of m to the uh, 8p times m to the first, okay? Because again, if I was to add, um, I have the same basis here, 8p plus 1, you can see that this is equal to this. All right, so now I'm going to take this whole thing to the 1 half power, and now I'm going to distribute, okay? I can distribute this 1 half to both of these uh, internal factors, so uh, to the exponents, so 1 half times 8p is m to the 4p, and then I have m, and this is going to be 1 half times 1, so that's going to be m to the 1 half, okay? And now this is going to make sense, so right here, m to the 4p is simply m 
to the 4p, and then m to the 1 half, we know that anything to the 1 half power is the same thing as the square root. So that's the same thing, m to the 1 half is the same thing as the square root of m. So uh, your final answer is m to the 4p times the square root of m. Okay, so how did you do? Okay, did you understand this, right? Even if you didn't get the problem right in the beginning, if you understand this, this is why I make this video. Okay, remember, math is a skill. Uh, you know, I'm not, I don't try to put questions out there on these particular videos that I do to make you feel bad, okay? I put out kind of interesting videos uh, and also a lot of videos that I know that students typically are going to struggle with, okay? So I want you to, you know, obviously learn something from this video, right? And that's the whole purpose. I mean, everyone can kind of do the basic problems like, oh, the square root of, you know, 8 uh, to the 4, you know, x or something like that. You know, those are kind of more easier problems, but a problem like this, yeah, you know, they're going to be thrown in uh, to on your uh, quizzes and tests and final exams, etc. But uh, anyways, if you understood all this, that is excellent. That means that you are focused and focus is the key to being successful in mathematics, along with having great math instruction. And hopefully you like my teaching style. If you're at this point of the video, that means you stuck uh, with me the whole way through and that's excellent and that's uh, hopefully an indication that this video was helpful and if that is the case don't forget to like and subscribe if you need help with this okay and this being square roots and radicals I would highly suggest my algebra one course or my algebra two course um, you know if you need additional help also I have tons of other videos on my YouTube channel on this particular topic as well all right, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time, and have a great day.